hey guys and welcome to my channel in this video I want to talk about connecting the dots because in our healing process when we're coming out of any abusive situation it's really important that we connect the dots so that we will prevent repeating cycles you know so connecting the dots typically provides insight to an individual as to the nature of their behavior the reasons for them doing X, Y, and Z, and what led them to be possibly attracted to the abuser, if that was the case, or, you know, what happened in their life that may have led them to that point, if anything, all right, I'll say that, because some people just get attacked, you know, out of nowhere, but I'm talking about when we've had relationships with abusive people and we've stayed in this situation far too long and, and such, okay? And this goes beyond romantic relationships. It could be a friendship in which you allow someone to cross your boundaries. It could be a family member that took advantage of you over and over, all right? Um, think about Michael Jackson, and I am like self-proclaimed his biggest fan. I love his music. I love his heart. But you could clearly see when we connected Das with him how his childhood was playing out in his adulthood, in his adult relationships. He had a lot of unresolved issues, okay? And because of that, you know, he was dysfunctional in a certain sense in his adulthood in his personal dealings with people and particularly um, children. Now, I don't believe, you know, this is just my little disclosure. I don't believe that he was molesting children. I don't believe that. But I do believe that he didn't, you know, he wasn't in the proper um, realm of thinking and his perceptions and the proper etiquette for how he was having relationships with children, keeping in mind the type of society that we live in and what's acceptable and not acceptable. You know, his boundaries seem to be pretty blurred, but I really don't believe that he had any ill malicious tent towards any human being, really. I think he was probably one of the most gentlest souls, um, extremely lonely, and, and had a kind heart, you know? But it's easy from for people looking from the outside to jump to conclusions and prejudge. But nonetheless, nonetheless, the whole point of me bringing him up was he had some issues and unresolved things from his childhood because he didn't really have a childhood. So he kept trying to make up for that in his adulthood, playing with other children but he was a grown man now. So the way that he could play with them as, ch as children would not be acceptable by our society standards today. So I want some of you to think about your childhood. You know, when you go into therapy, a good therapist is really gonna begin to dig below the surface and keep going down to get into the nucleus of things, to get to the root, basically. To get to the root. Are there things that has happened in your childhood that you are playing out in your adult relationships because you're trying to seek some type of reconciliation with it. You want, you're trying to get some peace out of it. You're trying to get some closure out of it. You're trying to correct it. You know, the most basic examples of this could be women with daddy issues. Maybe their daddy, uh, you know, they felt like their dad abandoned, abandoned them. He was not in the picture. So now she's constantly attracted to men that are unavailable to her, that's leaving her. And somehow this is attractive to her because it presents a, a situation where she could try to resolve what she never could resolve with her father. You know, for you guys out there, maybe your mom was volatile to you. Maybe she didn't really love and support you. And now you find yourself attracted to women that don't appreciate you, that don't respect you. 
and and you know in your mind like this isn't right but you're so used to it because this is how you grew up and a lot of men want to be with a woman psychology you know they've studied this a lot of men want to be with a woman that reminds them of their mother whether they know that or not it's in their subconscious so how your mother treated you a lot of times you will be attracted to a woman that treats you similarly because a boy's first crush is usually his mommy it really is <laughs> So, you know, it's really important to connect the dots and think about our interactions with our primary caretakers. Or it could have just been someone that was trusted. You know, did a babysitter um, that was hired to watch you, did they cross the line with you? Were they touching on you? Were they doing things? Or were they abusive to you as soon as your parents left? You know, these little trauma, traumatizing things, you know, could have affected you on some level if, if there wasn't any type of therapy to, you know, reconcile that situation. And it could affect the way that you are in your waking relationships now. That's why therapy is so important, guys. It is so important to do the work, not even just for your current situation, but we want to dig deeper into the nucleus so that we can connect the dots, as I'm saying, and really get that full, complete healing. And that is what stops the repeating. That's what stops the repeating cycles, guys. Digging down and perhaps going into places that you really don't want to talk about or even remember. But it's those places that are connected to, a lot of times, what we're doing right now. So a lot of times it goes beyond the current circumstances. And this is what I just want to bring to light in this video. And, you know, I'm always trying to give you guys additional things to think about. You know, we have to become insightful about ourselves. That's that's the whole goal in this life, to learn ourselves, to learn where we need to be stronger, where we need to grow, where do we need healing so that we can be as whole as possible. Because when we're as whole as possible, there is a kind of peace and happiness that comes with that, and it's priceless. We can be our best person. We can be our best version when we're in that realm. But we have to do the work. We have to do the work. And oftentimes there are things there lingering that need to be resolved inside of us. Why? Because no one's perfect. We're, we're around a bunch of imperfect human beings. And, and they've done this and that. We've done this and that to others. Okay, guys? So take some time to think about this. Things from your childhood that could have traumatized you and that are playing out in your waking relationships and your waking behaviors. And when I say relationships, it can be with anything. It could be your relationship with food, your relationship with alcohol, your relationship with sex. Yes, your relationship with other human beings, your relationship with animals. Your relationship with yourself. <clears throat> okay, guys? So let's think more abstract because you don't want to miss something by being too narrow in your sight. And then that tunnel vision, you won't be able to see the whole picture. Okay? All right. So if this video resonates with you, go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. I do upload videos quite frequently and I have quite a bit of material already available. I believe it's probably about 160 videos at this time, guys. Please feel free to go through them. Take what you can from these videos. I love the fact that I'm able to have this forum and I can create these videos and they're and I feel like they're kind of here forever, <laughs> you know, 
A, I don't have to keep repeating myself, so to speak, but, you know, it's just something that I can leave behind. Someone can listen to this all over the world. I love that I can do this. And I really hope that it's helping you guys. All right, and as usual, you can feel free to um, share any of all, any or all of my videos. If you are struggling to find yourself, if you are struggling to heal from a toxic relationship, guys, I have written books to help people with this. You can find them on Amazon.com. You can hit the link that's right in the description, or you can just go on Amazon and search my name, Lakia Crawford. If you would like coaching from me, because I offer that via phone, via email, via Skype, you can email Coach Lakia at gmail.com and I will reply to you as soon as possible okay all right guys and until next time please 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 continue to do the work and definitely take care <laughs>